Okay, so I, I, I keep seeing video after video after video of um, people talking about the legalization of marijuana, either um, for medical use or now in California, um, they're trying to get it to be just for general adult use. Um, and the only people that seem to queue on these shows and be against it um, is usually the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. This is a joke. It's a scam. Anybody who's actually spent any time actually researching what the Partnership for a Drug-Free America is will understand that they are just an arm of the alcohol companies and the tobacco companies trying to keep pot illegal. Because these companies know if pot becomes legal, people will drink less alcohol. People will smoke less cigarettes. Because the reality is, is that marijuana is just safer. It's safer than both of them, and then they can bring out all of the research studies they want, you know, show, saying, oh, you know, all of these kids go to, you know, look at all the people who go to, you know, to, you know, to rehab for marijuana, and but they don't tell you the next part, which is because they got arrested and were had um, two options, either go to rehab or go to jail. They don't tell you the whole story. And the thing about it is, is that the, the concept of the Partnership for Drug-Free America, America is nowhere ever going to be drug-free. Um, alcohol is a drug. Uh, tobacco is a drug. Caffeine is a drug. Uh, aspirin is a drug. Um, we have pharmacies that f dole out massive amounts of drugs. This is, this is a joke. The, their entire intent is to... to make people scared of something they shouldn't be scared of. Okay, I, as of today, I am THC free. Okay, I am, I have decided that I'm going to stop for a good while for multiple reasons, but I, it, it's, I still see the reality of the situation. This, these people coming on from the Partnership for a Drug-Free America, they're jokes. They are absolute jokes. They can sit. They you know they, they can sit here and you know and all they've got is well I mean, you know people you know get in, you know put into you know emergency rooms. Yeah, because people who you know use too much you know who use too much um, smoke too much or use it in brownies or other things, their heart starts racing. You know they start having, you know, having a bad trip. But after an hour or two, that all stops, and they go home. Nowhere can they show the statistic that says this then leads to other health problems. Okay? Or that any of these people who were admitted to the hospital died as a, as a result of use of cannabis. They can't. Because it doesn't exist. There, there is absolutely no proof anywhere, 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 anywhere that anybody has ever died from the direct use of cannabis. Now, there is an argument to be made about the people who use cannabis and operate a motor vehicle. I agree with them there. Okay, But the thing about it is, is that if you actually look at the actual studies of people who have died as a result of being intoxicated on marijuana, cannabis, and the people who have died as a result of intoxication of alcohol, I'll even throw one, another one in there, which is, which is even more fun, which is people who die in auto accidents because they're eating a McDonald's hamburger. There are more people who die from eating fast food in their car than die from cannabis use and driving. Sorry. The, the, the statistics are very clear on this. But they continue to go out 
and act like it's a big thing. Oh, you know, oh, we have to protect the children. When the reality is, is that if you look at legal drugs like alcohol and cigarettes, children still get access to them, but the, the access is extremely limited. And if we treated cannabis like alcohol and like tobacco, sorry, the, the reality is, is that the black market will dry up. Because the majority of the people who use the product are over 21. The, 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 the people who, the kids who will be buying it who are under 21 is going to be very limited. It's going to be limited. It's, it's, you will get some who use it, but they're not, but the black market, if, if 75 to 80% of your market is now legal, the, the black market dries up. Sorry. It, it also would reduce violence in Mexico because the drug cartels, 75% of their profits come from cannabis. And the thing about it is, is that it would bring up so much revenue, it's not even funny. But the Partnership for a Drug-Free America isn't telling you that. They're, they're not telling you this information. So when the Partnership for a Drug-Free America and a person from them immediately take everything that they're saying and discount it because they are being paid for, it should be a thing, a Partnership for a Drug-Free America brought to you by the alcohol and tobacco industry. But that's not going to happen, will it? 